halfway into my first call of the day and my raid array is broken again. I gotta do something more dramatic about this. So I just got done with my meeting and not only is my raid array not rebuilding, it seems to be very stuck in my backup script. It doesn't seem to be running. So about 60 days ago, I set out to start vlogging. And from every metric I had in mind when I started, I've been successful. But it's time to stop and reflect a little bit. It's time to take things up to the next level a little bit when it comes to storytelling. By far my most popular content that I've ever made on this channel was a review that I did comparing the Pixel 2LS and the Pixelbook. So I decided I'm gonna give people more of what they want. I'm still gonna be producing daily content, but it's gonna be more focused on technology and how tooling can play a vital part of our lives. I waited on the bus for an hour before we were all rescued by another bus taken to the campus. Time to get back to work. Gym time again. Just finished the last training session that I paid for. Now I have to decide if I want to continue to buy some more. Alright, just got back to my computer. The Raid Array rebuild has failed or gotten stuck. We're going to try rebooting. So I think I found the failing hard disk. I was listening very closely to my computer and this one was making a weird noise and it matched up to the uh, SmartMon checks that I was trying to do on my disk. So I'm pretty sure this is the failing drive. The last thing I'm going to do to verify it wasn't some sort of link failure that was causing the drive to go weird. Uh, so I'm going to plug it into an external enclosure. really awesome SATA controller from Inland, which actually allows you to put in SSDs or full-size hard drives. Uh, then you just connect it via USB to your computer, and it's a really good way to either backup or transfer data across drives, or if you want to debug when a drive is failing. So debugging hard drive failures aren't that hard to debug. The first thing to figure out is actually what's wrong. You've got several pieces here at play. You've got a controller on the motherboard, you've got a cable, and then you've got the hard drive itself. One of the first things I end up doing is I use Smart Control, which is a system utility that actually asks the hard drive, hey, do you know what's wrong? And there's a couple tests. You can do a short test, you can do an extended test. So when I started having these hard drive errors, uh, I found the hard drive that was having the issue based on some of the errors I was seeing, as well as listening to the drive uh, and hearing it, and I'm making a weird clicking noise. I pulled the drive out, and now I've attached it into an external enclosure. So we're bypassing both the controller and the cable that we were using, we're rerunning those tests to see if they have the same sort of failures. The only problem with this is that these sort of tests can take hours and hours to achieve. So right now I'm operating with a degraded RAID array, uh, but we're gonna see if this test is successful uh, and maybe we have a controller or a cable problem that we can resolve without having to buy a new hard drive. We'll check in tomorrow and continue the debugging process. Good night.